Problem 4.34 or 5.33 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this problem, an insulated piston sealing device contains 5 liters of saturated liquid water at a constant pressure of 175 kilopascals. Water is stirred by a paddle wheel, while a current of 8 amps flows for 45 minutes through a resistor placed in the water. If one half of the liquid is evaporated during this process, which has a constant pressure, and the paddle wheel work amounts to 400 kilojoules, the problem needs to determine what is the voltage of the source, and also to show the process in a PV diagram with respect to the saturation lines. The first step in this problem is to write a balance of energy. We have the energy in minus the energy out is equal to the change of energy in the system. In this problem, the amount of energy that we have in is the amount of energy due to the resistor and to the paddle. So what we have is we have the energy in work done by the resistor plus the energy that is done by the paddle. And then the energy that is given is the work of the boundary, which is out. Then the change of energy on the system, we notice that we have um, an insulated piston, therefore there is no heat transfer. There is no change in velocity or in position, therefore the change in potential and kinetic energy are equal to zero. Therefore, the only change in the system is the change in internal energy, since this is a closed system. We write this, and then we moved the value of the boundary into the other side, plus boundary work, and this converts into the change of enthalpy. Therefore, now we rewrite all the values that we have, and we have the work, the electrical work is simply going to be the voltage, the current, and the change in time. The, we have the boundary of the paddle, which is provided, and then the change of the enthalpy is simply going to be the mass times the specific enthalpies, H2 and H1. So now what we need to find, for us to be able to find the voltage, we need to find the values of H2 and H1 from the table. In order to find the values for H1 and H2, we go to table A5, since the pressure is provided. For um, state 1, we have a pressure of 175 kilopascals, and it was indicated that it was a saturated liquid water, therefore the value for H1 is going to be 4.87.0.01. Uh, For state 2, it says that the pressure remains constant, so it remains at 175 um, kilopascals. It also, the problem says that half of the liquid is evaporated, which means that the uh, quality uh, reduces 2.5. And then in order to obtain the value for H2, we're going to use the value of HF and the value of HFG in order to get the proper value. So once again, these are the values for enthalpy. For enthalpy at state 1 is equal to the enthalpy for a saturated liquid. And then for um, enthalpy 2 is going to be calculated using the value of the quality and HF and HFG. So the value for H2 is simply going to be HF plus X h of g and if we substitute the values we find that this is going to be 1593.6 kilojoules per kilograms so now in, in order to substitute into this equation the only thing that we're missing is the value of the mass to calculate the mass notice that the initial volume is provided to be 5 liters and we could find the value of the specific volume at a state 1 by going into the table so if we go to the table for 175 kilopascals, we find that the value of the specific volume is equal to 0 0.001057. So that is going to allow us to find the value of the mass. So mass is going to be the initial volume divided by the initial specific volume. This is equal to 5 liters 
which in meters is equal to 0 0.005 meter cubed. And once again, we divide by the specific volume, which is 0 0.001057 meter cubed per kilogram. And that tells us that the value of the mass is equal to 4.731 kilograms. For us to be able to find the voltage, we're going to solve first for the work done by the electricity and then solve for the voltage. So the work done by the electricity is simply going to be the mass times the change in enthalpy minus the work done by the paddle. So this is going to be uh, 4731 uh, kilograms and the change over here is going to be 1593.6 minus 487.01 this is kilojoules per kilograms minus the work done by the paddle which is equal to 400 kilojoules that's it that tells us that the electrical work is going to be equal to 4835 kilojoules now if we solve this we find that the voltage is equal to the amount of the energy done by the electricity divided by the current and the change in time. So this is equal to 4835 kilojoules. This is equal to 8 amps and the time is equal to 45 minutes. We translate it into seconds. So we have that one minute has 60 seconds. And then we do the conversion to go from amps uh, and volts into kilojoules. So we have that 1000 volt amps is equal to one kilojoule per second. So notice that amps cancels with amps, uh, seconds cancel with the seconds, and kilojoules cancels with this kilojoules. Then the left unit is going to be volts. And if we multiply this out, we find that the voltage is equal to 223.9 volts. The last step is to show this process in a PV diagram. We see that the first state started as a saturated liquid. The pressure remained constant until the uh, volume was reduced by half. Go half point over here. And then we go like this. This is the description of the process in a PV diagram.